what is going on everybody welcome back to coding with t so in the last part we checked for permission in our app and in this video we are going to display map on our screen so i will be displaying map with two ways first is by using map view and the second is by using sport map fragment so without any further ado let's get started Okay, so go to your XML file and replace this with map view. I will set its ID as map view and then I will set its constraints with its parent. Then go to your Java file and declare a boolean variable and a map view variable. If we grant the access file location permission to our app, then this boolean variable should be true. So we will write is permission granted is equals to true here. Then I will bind this map view with its view in the XML file. Then after this permission check, I will write an if statement to check if the permission is granted or not. And if the permission is granted, I will write map view dot get map async and in between these parentheses i will pass the context of interface which i have not implemented yet so i will go up here and type implement on map ready callback interface this interface needs to implement a method so i will click here and click on implement interface and click ok Then I will write map view dot on create and pass the bundle. And the purpose of this on create method is that if you go to the documentation, then you can see that we must override all the lifecycle methods for the activity. You can read the rest of the documentation as well. I will provide the link of it down into the description box. So I will write all those methods one by one and to save your time I will fast forward it. So now I have to initialize this map view. So I will write map view dot on start here and I will do the same with the rest of the methods. So I will fast forward it again. Okay, so this is it for the map view and now I can run the app. So 
so as you can see the app is running pretty good and the map is showing as well and i can also rotate the map and i can also zoom in and zoom out now let's consider the other way to show the map which is using sport map fragment so go to the documentation again and here you will find this chunk of code copy it as it is and paste it here then constraint it with its parent and give it some id now go to the java file and first of all remove all the unnecessary code then in the permission check set the sport map fragment i think i have forgot to give it id so i will go back to xml file and give it some id to let's say fragment and lastly i will write sport map fragment dot get map async and in between the brackets i will pass the context of interface so it's time to run our app So our map is showing and I can also zoom in and zoom out from the map and this was it for today if you like the video then leave a like and if you want to ask me anything write it down in the comment section we will carry on from here in the next video have a great day i will see you guys in the next video